Hey FishTube, how's it going? So I'm just going to do a quick uh, walk through the room. A couple things happened with the discus and I just kind of want to go over them. So here we go. So on these guys right here, they are actually out of quarantine. They made it through and they are looking great. She, was, she had tapeworm and uh, the parasite and looks like she's all clear. And he just had the parasite so I didn't ever see tapeworms out of him. But um, they both look good and eating well. So the second round was uh, medicated food that I made and I'm gonna make a video of that coming up. Really good, they're growing out. Uh, a few more months, they're hungry. So they're waiting for their dinner. I did the little drop the water, I covered the uh, sponge filter. Actually, a couple fry in there and I watched them eating off their sides finally. Now it's not going to be a big spawn, but this is their eighth try and finally at least we have something where the fry are finding the parents. So I think by dropping the water and covering the sponge filter, it's helped the fry uh, at least distinguish what the parents look like. So whether they'll make it or not, I was watching them eat off of the parents and there's probably only four or five fry, so that's usually not good because when the discus only get that many fry, they tend not to take care of them. So just a quick video on this, so a little success going on here today. Um, and they're still young, so we're gonna keep an eye on them and give them another chance because this is a huge step that they've actually let those fry eat off their sides. And I watched the male, which is the one on the left, on my left. So he actually was uh, catching the fry and putting them back on the cone, which he hasn't ever done. And they were swimming to him. So they're too small to see. Oh, there's one on the cone right there. Let's see if I can get him. Right there. Really tiny, yeah, not, a little blurry. Oh, they're moving. So, oh, we'll see. I don't expect much, but at least it's it's a step in the right direction. And these guys are really hungry, so we're gonna get them some food. Excuse the reflection. So I went to make the video on making the discus food, and I went to editing, and it was horrible, so I scrapped it. So I'm just gonna get this out for you guys, the subscribers, and I just wanna say thank you for subscribing and I'm making these videos for you guys. Whether the channel grows big or not, that's not the point. I was helping people one-on-one, -on -one, so now if I can help people. Black rams, they are getting ready to spawn. Now they have spawned a couple times and I moved a pair into here. So they are They spawned once, but didn't take care of the, the eggs. And then these guys just paired up the other day. So another pair. Now, one new fish I got in the fish room, which I'm really excited about. I think I've said it. It's the Cynodonus lucipinus. So you can see them swimming around right there in the back. Awesome little catfish. So we will see how they do. They just came in. So they're gonna go through their 30 day minimum quarantine. And they are actually, so there's a big debate on the Lucipinus and the Petricola. So these are the Lucipinus. And they do have a different slight pattern on them. So not a great video, but I wanted to get something out. I, I said I'd be trying to get them out Thursdays and Sundays. And unfortunately the video just, it was not doable. My head was halfway chopped off and amazing, amazing information. And I debated whether to put it out, but I can do better. So I'm gonna make that a little better for you guys. And that's the Petricola. So these guys are about ready to spawn. So we're pretty close and here they come and they're hungry. They eat a lot. Um, I will be putting out the uh, video on Sunday and I can do my medical bag or I can do the discus um, medicated food how I do it it's really effective so if they're not eating then you have to treat the water but if they are eating you can feed this food and it saves tons of money so that's why I do it so I usually put them through the, the water treatment the first seven to ten days and then the second and then I give them a week off 
and then the second treatment I do a usually the food. So they're usually eating the food by the second treatment. So these are all my bosmani. And I kept out of a couple hundred, I've kept these to grow out. These guys are almost 10 months old. So very slow growing. Oh, and then let me show you these real quick. So not very good lighting, but these are Praycock, the Dwarf Neon. So I'd say there's probably about 75, 80 in there. And then I'm gonna try, so let me know in the comments if you want the discus medicated food or my medical bag. Uh, I've been putting that medical bag together for about 30 years and it's only, I, it's very selective, only what I need's in there. So I don't buy anything fluff and I don't waste any money. Uh, I only have in there what I need and I can kind of go through that bag if you'd like. But let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested. Thanks guys, take care, bye.